Hi guys, welcome back to another video. This video I'm gonna show you how to make a tool that will give you statistics. First I'm gonna so let's start. So first I'm gonna create leader stats. If you already have them then you don't have to follow along with this part. So we're gonna do game dot players dot player added connect function and then we're gonna pass the player. Just getting when the player joins the game so we can add statistics. Then we're gonna make local stats will equal instance dot new folder and then we're gonna parent it to player. This is the same thing as doing stats dot parent equals player. It's just simpler doing it that way. So we're make we're basically just making an abbreviation in the player and it's gonna be a folder so and stats dot name will equal leader stats. This can be really anything you want. You can do like tree or water or anything. Well, this won't have a value. The main thing will be local coins equals instance dot new in value stats. This time you're parenting into stats, so you're putting it into the folder. This is so like let's say this is blocks, then you can name this local block or like local wood and parent it into the blocks folder. Then we're gonna make coins dot name is just coins. This is what it'll display as inside of our stats or our player's username instead of the lowercase coins and then we're going to do coins dot value will equal zero that's just the default value you can do like 99,000 or something but for this video i'm just going to do one all right so now you want to create your tool i'm just going to insert a part you can design your tool how you want you're going to always have a main handle so basically if you you have to have something that the player is going to hold so let's say my player is going to hold this and let's say you're going to make a pickaxe so then you're going to Design your pickaxe. Let's say you did this. This would not be complete. So let's just mark this. So this is the handle. And let's say this is the actual pick part. So this would not actually work. Because this would just fall apart. What would you what you would have to do is go into the model tab, press on this create button right here, and make a weld. Then click on the first part and click on the second part. Or click on the handle, then the second part. Then you want to grab on the handle and you want to name it handle with a capital L or I mean a capital H. Now you have your pickaxe or whatever you're making done. Then in starter pack or if you want to not make it always in the player's inventory then you can put in replicated storage and clone it to the player. But in starter pack you'll put your tool, you'll name it something, then insert your handle. So basically right now this is what we've got. We should have our leader stats and we should have our tool inside of our inventory that we can do stuff with. Well, right now we can only hold it. Well, you will have to, or here's a useful plugin I might put in the description, Tool Grip Editor. You can just edit how the tool is being held. Here it's being held sideways as you can see down there. Then you just can rotate it how you want so it'll be held properly in the player's hand. I might link that plugin if I can find the link to it. I might put it in the description. It's very useful for making tools and such. So now, as you can see, my pickaxe is being held properly. Now we're going to make it so this tool, once clicked, it'll add our player's leader stats. So insert a local script into the tool. We're going to get our local player. Local player equals game.player.local player. So it's just making an abbreviation. When we put player, it's basically writing out this, but in a shorter version of it. And we're going to do script.parent.activated connect function. Basically, when the tool is activated, or in other words, when you click with the tool, it'll run a function in here. So if it's not the script's parent, so the script's parent is the pickaxe. But let's say you have your script in starter GUI, then you would have to do game dot starter pack dot pickaxe dot activated. Now we're gonna do player dot leader stats or whatever you named your folder and whatever you named your stat statistics and then the value. Or what well, you don't have to do is you can change it up so you can make it so when the tool is clicked it'll add walk speed or something. Oh, this is meant to be equals. So player dot leader sets our coins of value because player dot leader sets our coins of value plus however much you want. This can once again be anything you want. Like this can make the player go flying. This can make the player huge. But for this video, I'm just gonna make it so it adds leader stats to the player. 
Now once we load up our game, everything should be working how we intend it to. As you can see, when we click now, nothing happens. But if we have the pickaxe and we click, we are getting coins. So no pickaxe, clicking, no coins. Pickaxe equipped, clicking, and now we have coins. I hope you in or yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and goodbye.